Hey guys, Spray and Free here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. We're playing as Nigeria, trying to unify Africa. Um, I think we may or may not be reaching, like, our our full potential here in Africa, just because, like, if you take a look, like, so Spain and these guys, even though they have less population than us, they're just doing so much better. Like, it's insane. I mean, I'll give it a couple more episodes, but I think this may be... I mean, this might be the last one. We might. I'm going to try to get as much expansion done this episode that I possibly can. But, you know, there's only so much we can do. Hopefully, I'll be able to fight Egypt. I wonder if it'll let me fight Egypt without uh, without fighting anybody else. <laughs> like, if hopefully I won't have to fight Spain. Or maybe I could form an alliance. Nope, they, they hate me. Okay, anyways, we're going to go probably eat up Sudan. Do we have a truce with them yet? We do, okay. So let's go ahead and eat Ethiopia then. Because Ethiopia looks like they're pretty good to eat. Pretty tasty looking. So let's get over there. Uh, I mean, honestly, this mod is pretty buggy, and I said from the start that it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt. You guys have been linking me in the comments to um, another mod that's like sort of combines this with Pop the Man mod, and I'm very interested to try that out because I very much like the way that the economy worked in Pop Demand. It was like, you know, you have your economy, it makes money. That's it. There's no, like, you don't have to be, like, a freaking scientist or, um, like, a the economy whisperer to understand it, which is kind of how I feel about most of the Victoria that I play, is that it's just, like, such a headache to get yourself making money, and besides, like, even fighting, it's like, what the hell are you going to do? Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to go beat up Ethiopia. They're allied with Egypt and Uganda. Now, I'm not sure if Egypt will come and if they will bring Spain. If they bring Spain, I'm gonna just like GG Nori right now. Maybe if I fight, how about I fight Uganda? I'll decrease relations and I'm gonna declare on Uganda because they're allied with Ethiopia. So maybe we have a better chance of beating them. They have 38 military power and Zambia has 18. All right, and then these guys are useless. All right, we're gonna be fine. Uh, this army might get squished, but uh... Maybe if I can merge these armies up, they'll be better off together. Alright. So let's see, uh, we're on full subsidies, so let's see if I can't pay for my goddamn military. Alright, because there's no way we could possibly make any more money without like reducing social spending or something like that. But then our people are going to get unrusty. But it looks like it's doing alright. That's good. It's good. Okay. Let our morale top off, then we're going to declare war. And I think, is this one province away? Yeah, so I can move this army directly onto them. So let's go ahead and put this guy here as well, so that we can just both of these armies squish at once. On that Ugandan army, or not Uganda, Ethiopia. We're going to Uganda declare, we're going to declare war on Uganda though. And sure, why not? Why not cap or crush them? Alright, Uganda. You ready? You ready, bruh? Who's gonna come? Wow, it says Morocco very likely and Spain very likely. Oh wow. All right, let's move in and try to claim this uh, this little army here. No, they're gonna get out. Of But with Spain on our side, I don't know. Maybe we will be able to win. Maybe we can declare war on Egypt now. Since Spain is on our side, if we declare war on Egypt while we're in this war, maybe they won't be able to fight us or something. Like maybe the Spanish won't be able to declare war on me. I'm going to leave one unit behind. What day are they going to get there? June 5th. What day are we going to get there? June 11th. Alright, so now I can go crush that 17 stack, hopefully. So is Spain going to come help, or what? Come
Come on, Spain, get your ass over here. Morocco came, you have access. Whatever. If they don't want to come, they don't want to come. I don't need you anyways. Whoop. I thought that might happen. Do they attack in the mountains? No, but we have military fortification on them, so that's good. Alright, let's crush this guy here. Alright, we should just be able to rape them because there's no one there defending them. Where are these guys going? They're going to Bunga. Bunga Bunga. Alright, let's send our 32 stack over here. And our 12, whatever stack that was. These sieges go so quickly because I don't think they're able to even like research stuff. We're having a lot of difficulty paying for our stuff, as you can see. It's getting pretty negative over here. Let's take a look at our uh, diplomatic mode. Yeah, let's go start annexing Zambia. It looks like we're going to lose that. Where are we running to? Can we run this way? Can we not run, like, into them more? Whatever. I mean, the thing is, we're going to be, like, full sieging them, and they're going to not be able to siege anything of us. Wait, what? Am I no longer a war leader? Oh, I'm not war leader anymore. Well, that sucks. And they're not even... Oh, they pieced out Uganda for Uganda, but Ethiopia, okay. Let's go ahead and add some more goals before they, uh, before they try to piece everybody out. Alright, well, we can pull back and beat them there. Right now we can swarm this little army because they left it alone. We're going to dig deeply and greedily, of course. Oh, God. And we're going to probably start taking loans soon. Poop. Poopé. Alright, well, at least we're going to be able to siege up Zambia down here. Let's go ahead and add a war goal against them. What's the closest one to us down here? This is Zambia and Zambia, but their capital is there, so they're not going to let us take that. So let's go ahead and get Zambezi. Alright, and hopefully they'll get that for us. Alright, I'm going to try to keep these guys a little close together, and hopefully like in not mountains. Let's actually get into the mountains over here. I think our units are more are well trained are better trained than they are. So we don't have to worry about too much, hopefully. Like especially with this army over here, I don't think they're gonna challenge us. As far as combat. Alright, looks like they're gonna try to take over. Let's see if I can scare them off. Oh, so they pieced out. Everybody. Did I take any of Ethiopia? Hmm. No, it looks like not. I 
Oh well, thank you, Spain. You made my country bigger, hooray! Alright. Damn. Well, you know what? That was cool. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to Kenya. For Kenya, I want Rift Valley, because I don't think we can... They're not going to actually let us take Kenya, Kenya. Ah, so Spain and Morocco are going to come be my buddy. So I guess Spain took over. So who else did they call in? Just just Kenya, right? Okay. I guess Zambia is like done getting whooped. And we're just about to get the next level of infrastructure, so maybe it won't be too bad. Alright, let's make sure we can add this uh, next war goal right away. before Spain decides to piece us out. Alright, so let's go ahead and research some... I want to research some more um, education efficiency stuff. That'd be nice. So uh, just like trying to repay my... Uh, just trying to get my soldiers back in action is really expensive. My god, these subsidies are, are sorry, the social spending for yeah, on subsidies and on pensions is so much. Oh god. I feel like Obama right now. Just like, why? I don't want to pay for all these people stuff. <laughs> Damn you lazy old people. Oh, look at that. They gave it to us super quick. Thanks, Spain, for being like super quick on piecing out all the time. And that's nice that they actually touch. I didn't think they would. Alright, we have to decrease relations with this guy. Wow, they're fascist though? I want to be fascist. That's cheating. They're not allowed to be what I want. Now the only thing is, is if we can maybe get France in here and help us beat up these guys. That'd be great. I really would like to have their coal down here in uh, South Africa. Alright, well... For the meantime, let's go ahead and drop our military spending. So hopefully we can repay some of our loans. Yeah, I know that's crazy, right? Repaying loans. Zanzibar! Oh wow, Spain and them didn't want to come? Hmm, well, let's get the let's get the alliances back. Wait, what? Why? But why? It's probably because I'm in a war. That they don't approve of. We'll find Dad. I'm gonna start doing drugs now because you disowned me. Alright, in Zanzibar, I'm pretty sure we can walk there. So you're gonna get an X. No, you can't walk there. So never mind. No annexation for you, Zanzibar. Although I probably could add it to the, uh... I could probably add it to what we're asking from the other guy. Oh, it looks like they're not going to give it to us. Oh well. What, do people want to vote again or something?
I think I'm going to ignore them and let them get angry so we can have maybe a sh shake up in the government. Alright, now let me see if Spain wants their alliance back. There we go. Yay, Spain's our friend. Alright, let's pay back our loan. And upgrade these shit-ass factories. <laughs> that do nothing for me, except for cause problems. <sighs> I want to justify who who are we can we fight with? Everybody here is just like not. I mean, I guess we could fight with Mozambique. But after this, it's going to have to be like South Africa that we fight with. And they are scary. They have lots of military power for some reason that I'm unable to discern. For some reason, their economy is working. Teach me, South Africa, how you do. I took your land. Why isn't it working? Oh, well, I can expand the infrastructure further. How are we doing? Oh, that's good. It made us a little bit more money, I think. Yeah, I think we're making like 100 more pounds off that now, that we have those railroads and stuff. If we declare war on Zambia, we can get into war with the Republic of Congo without going to war with uh, South Africa, which would be nice, because I could take probably a few provinces from these guys. And they have tropical, or they have rubber, which I think is pretty valuable, I would assume. What do people want? No. Oh, we have immigration turned off? Let's just, let's turn on immigration, yeah. Hell yeah, I mean, we could use immigration. I can't believe I hadn't done that already. That's like the good reform. I love immigration. No wonder we weren't getting any. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose any RGO output, thank you very much. Okay. Let's keep on decreasing relations with this bitch. He wants to be friends, but it's like, no. You gon' die. Okay, I'm gonna send this guy down here just so that he's ready to stomp on their face as soon as we go to war. And then how am I gonna get down here, I wonder? Not through Zambia, they hate us. Hmm. What's funny is this is where their capital is, so I mean we'll probably get enough war score to do the uh, acquire state cost of spelling, which is probably going to be that one, even though we're not going to get to siege it at all. Oh well. All right, looks like they broke their alliance with uh, these guys over here. Let's go ahead and declare war on Burindi. Oh, they already were at war with us. Oops. Okay, never mind then. So how much is this war for? Not too much. Okay, so once we get their capital and stuff, we should be okay. Um, we might be able to call Spain and get them to go down there and siege it up if, if needed. I wonder why their capital is down here. Or maybe they got that taken from them and got it back, or I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, one more province should do it. Yeah, we, we got it. Yay, it's ours. Woohoo. And their army was over there, too. I'm going to send half and half. I would declare war on these guys with their ally with South Africa, so F that. Apparently all these places we're taking over, it's like unheard of to pay for taxes, so... I guess they're like not doing that. 
Of course I'm going to insist that Somaliland is mine, because Somaliland is mine. Wow, our industrial subsidies and our tariffs are like the exact same amount. Alright, so we can pay back most of our loan now. Our education efficiency went up, that's good. Let's go ahead and do the mining and farming output there. That should go quickly because we... Let's it say it's going to be done in March of next year, so just one year. That's pretty long, actually. It's probably because we're so stupid as a country. And we've been picking up a lot of uh, uneducated people, which sucks. But what are you going to do? Are we still at truce with... Uh, no, we're done with our truce with Sudan. Okay, we're going to move up to here, and we're going to be taking over uh, Sudan and Ethiopia, it looks like. So we will need to pay for our troops. Let's go ahead and finish paying off our loans and try to save up a little bit of money. Uh, maybe I'll drop social spending. Yeah, if I drop this to zero, it's like, look at how much money we make. But I bet you our like unrest is gonna like explode. Whatever, I like money. And I like making money while I'm not doing any work for it. Well, not paying. I like make, make, play, making money when I'm not spending or when I'm spending money on my troops, too. Which is nice. It's nice to have all this money, because now, look, I could probably pay for some more units, too. Which are sorely needed. At least we can finally conquest these guys. Okay, conquest on Sudan. Let's go. Alright, come on Ethiopia, join. Oh wow, Ethiopia did not join. Interesting. Well, Sudan, welcome to the fold. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna do this now. Make even more money. No reason to pay for these guys, because they're not fighting anybody. I'm just back them on out. Money, 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 money. I think that was the secret, honestly. I mean, who needs to pay all those stupid pensions and bullshit? That's what Obama needs to do. Just no more Social Security ever again. Alright. What's our... I just want to... Like, I'm going to quickly max this just to see... Oh my god, 6,000. Okay, we could maybe put this up to 10%, I think. In current... Under our current... Because right now, look at how... Look at how big our cap is. 1,400 units. We don't need more than that. Let's build some units. Can you build special forces? Yeah, we can build marines now. All right, I'm gonna start with that. <clears throat> we'll build some more units afterwards if we de deem it necessary. But yeah, those social things were like really taxing us so much. It's so hard to figure out what the guy damn game wants you to do in these situations. Alright, so let's put on our diplomatic map mode and see who doesn't have a truce with us. Somaliland is the only one that doesn't, but we don't have any units there, so poo. Let's upgrade all these factories. I wish these things actually had, like, inventions. That's probably why they're, we're not doing so hot. Anyways, let's do this. Wow, look at that. That was a really good tech that we did, I guess. 
Did it just say we made 12k? Holy shit. I guess I should have done those industrial things earlier. I, I'm... We're kind of playing catch-up now, but that's fine. Look at that, 300,000 already? That's great. We're going to be able to invest so much now. Let's go ahead and invest it on this stuff. Let our capitalists go crazy, that's fine. We can definitely finance this. Look at that. We're doing so well that I stopped paying for those stupid idiots. Oh, and plus I got the technology. So what happened? It looks like Britain, now now the French have that. <laughs> that's so funny, the French are, not, are just going to move around until they like have Scotland or something. <laughs> that's hilarious. Alright, and uh, where are our new units going? Just question mark. Where are... Do we have new units at all? Okay, let's, uh, let's get them a... Uh, where's the best force supply limit? Where the hell is that button? It's like an arrow with... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so our best supply limit's like right here with uh, 90. Yeah, all these are pretty good, but Bussa is the best. So let's go ahead and make that the rally point. Pretty sure we had another rally point like over here or something. Oh, there it is. All right, let's un undo that one. All right, with all this extra money, we might actually stand a chance doing something. Are we still spending a shit ton on subsidies? Yes, we're even more subsidies now. We're doing 4,000 fucking subsidies. It's ridiculous. But whatever, we're not paying the ridiculous uh, social spending bullshit anymore. Which apparently was our issue. Also, it was probably that tech that gave us like 20% better farming, which is also like huge part of our economy. Organize a crackdown. Plus, it looks like we have all of our, our a lot of our craftsmen employed, which is definitely going to be helping. Yay! Things are going well. I'm not depressed anymore playing this game, and we're actually able to make units. How's about that? I wonder how much this is going to cost. Hmm. Okay, well, I think that's enough for right now. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see how that works. Yeah, it might have just been my stupid hit, my stupidity for why why nothing was working. If uh, because like these texts here, this twenty percent extra, this is thirty percent. Holy crap, we're gonna do that next. After this, this is gonna help with our factories, the technology, as well as the like their efficiency. Rather, that's good. We'll need that. Mining output. I think that's gonna actually increase our amount of money that we make off gold. Well, uh, yeah, I think it definitely did. We might even be able to lower taxes. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, we're gonna like super open up immigration because I could definitely use more of those. How is our army doing, our new marines? These are going to be super elite troops, which is cool. A lot of consciousness, but hopefully that'll go away. One day. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I was expecting sort of people to be like a lot pissed because we were, you know, kind of not doing all the subsidies that we were giving them. But it looks like they're kind of okay. So that's great. How are we doing on loans given? Ooh. 
Not much. We have a lot of capital that we could loan out. Anyways, here comes more troops. Yay! New units! I don't think we really need a navy right now, because it's just going to cost more stuff, more money. How are our truces? Let's see. Yeah, we still have truces with like everybody down here. We could go eat up Djibouti. Yeah, let's send an army over here and we'll eat, eat Djibouti. I'm going to decrease relations with Djibouti. And then we'll justify war with Djibouti. Of course we're going to conquest them. Alright, and hopefully they'll bring uh, Ethiopia. Good. Alright, and we're going to send our Marines in as well. We're going to gain the Militancy because we can spare it. Is Dabuti the uh, military leader? No. Alright, good. We annexed them. Now against you, I want... We need more Jingoism. But I want to eat all of their... Uh, all the stuff that we didn't get a chance to eat when Spain was the war leader. I wonder if we're going to get enough uh, stuff to rocket ourselves up to maybe a great power status. I don't know if that would be good or bad, because then we'd be like in competition with everybody. Uh, let's decrease relations with these guys and get ourselves a Casas Billy on them. Because I want to just I want to annex conquest them as well. Alright, and then let's go ahead to Ethiopia. We're going to add another acquire state. Alright, good. Right, and we're going to declare war on this guy. Alright, it looks like things are going well. We're already at two million dollars. That's great. Or pounds, whatever. You know what I mean. Okay. Yay! Yay, things are going better. I was like kind of really depressed after the last episode and then at the beginning of this episode. But since we're actually having some good times... Oh, hello. That's a pretty big army, Somalia. Where'd you get that? Who let you have that? Do you have like a big population or something you didn't tell me about? No, not really. Alright. You know what I was thinking? I have said earlier, I was like, why do we keep getting these rundown factories? I think it's because we're killing them because we're sieging. That's it. It's not because they're rundown. I'm an idiot. I just realized that in my head. Thank you, brain. Alright, Somaliland. Yay! Look at that. Nigeria is strong. Who do we sell truce with? Everyone. <laughs> We could go eat Madagascar, maybe. What's, can we justify conquest? No, we'd have to justify for the bottom half of them. <clears throat> Anyways, let's go ahead, op open up those factories, and subsidize, and build up anybody that we can. And that's going to be about it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed. Look at that, we're making 10k. Hopefully that's going to stay that way. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out. Oop, wrong button.